My DeepMind continues to surprise me. I think for the money, it is without question the best value in analog polysynths on the market. And I would put it up with probably against any modern polysynth. I think it gets some flack for the name, but um, this thing is really kind of a halo product for Behringer, and I love mine. So um, I figured out how to do something interesting today. I I know that you can do um, unison detune to kind of simulate, if you want two um, saw waves in a sound, there's only really one way to do it, which is to, so right now I have just an arpeggio playing. The only way to do it really is to go into unison detune and change it to um, unison mode and then play. Um, now, but you'll notice mine actually sounds a little different than you might expect. That second stack, which is in, in effect working as my second oscillator, is not quite as strong as it initially is, and that's because I figured out something interesting in the mod matrix that you can do, where one of your sources is actually your, your unison voice index, so that's your second voice. If you're in unison 2 mode, that, that'll be your second voice. You can actually assign that to different destinations, so if I assign that to the VCA, um, meaning any time that, that stack comes up as stack 2, it will control the VCA on my second stack. Um, I can actually control the volume of, of that second stack. So if you assign that to VCA all here, um, that's what that does. And then you can also have fine and coarse control over your second stack. So in effect, you can turn this into a six voice, um, two saw oscillator synth, um, which it can't, you know, which it can't do in, in regular mode. Um, and you can and you can simulate a lot of those big fat saw pads without having to rely on unison detune, which to me sometimes sounds a little intense without being able to independently control that second oscillator. So if I play, I have this track, you know, just this arpeggio up. Um, if I play it, you'll notice you'll hear this arpeggio. And if I go into the depth of this of the VCA, I can actually you'll hear the second oscillator come up. Right now I have it set to one octave up, and then. Um, detuned just a little bit. So if you if you listen, I can actually I can detune it down. Oop, let's get to one octave down. Let's use this thing. And then if I go back up here just to kind of review, we can, we can turn it off. We can turn it all the way up. And then you know you could this this kind of simulates what you'd get if you go into unison detune if you set it at zero and then just change the fine pitch. So I was pretty excited when I found this, just wanted to share. What also is really cool is um, you can actually set the mod depth as a destination. So if you wanted to vary um, the amount of fine pitch control that you get you know, by, via an LFO or something, you could actually assign um, an LFO to mod, depth, mod 3 depth, which is controlling our fine pitch. Now it's important because you're dealing here with a, sec second, sa sa a second stack that's acting like a second oscillator. Um, you actually, you want to assign the pitch to oscillators one and two because you know you think about the whole thing as a copy of voice one, you actually want to control oscillators one and two on your second stack, not just oscillator two. Um, anyway, just wanted to share, very excited about this and we'll be putting it to use on a lot of new patches.